what a beautiful night. Just looking. <sighs> Lately being sick with the lungs a lot and all the pain and struggle. I'm learning some things and God is instilling some things into me. You know, he should be our first go-to. But when you get on the phone and say, I'm going to call Jesus. Now I'm going to get on the phone and I'm going to call my mom or I'm going to call my sister. Or I'm going to call pastor or I'm going to call pastor's wife. It should always be God. He should be our first resort. And sadly in this world, we tend to not put him as our first resort. We use drugs. We use alcohol. We use gambling. We use all kinds of things. We're angry. We're upset. We're bitter. We're hurting. That's not who God wants us to be. We should be his first resort, people. The first one we call on, the first one we ask, the first one we hear in the morning, the first one we thank in the morning. Then after that, you can share everything that he's doing in your life with others. But if you got a problem, or you're struggling, or you're in dark, or you're whatever it is, it does not matter. He is the first resort. He is the go-to. Not call John. Not call Pastor. Not call Sammy. Not, not, just call on Jesus. He's 24-7 every second of the day. Every minute. He's actually, he's there. He's watching. He's waiting. Waiting for that time that you say, You know what, man? I didn't hit a couple of walls. Too many. I got so many scars, I can't recognize myself anymore, Jesus. And he's waiting for that moment when you just say, I need to be cleaned up. I want to be fixed. Take the wheel. I can't do it anymore. And then I haven't seen too much, God. What do you need? And get out of that driver's seat. And then tell him what I told him last night. God, if you see me even get near that driver's seat, smack me. I don't mean like that. Wake me up and let me recognize that you're the one driving. It ain't me. I'm in the passenger seat. I'm getting chauffeured around by the good Lord on where he needs me and what he wants me to do. It's time. And I say, and I, all I can say right now, yes, it's challenging with the lungs and it hurts and I'm in a lot of pain. Very uncomfortable. But blessed and thankful and I will give him praise. I will give him honor and glory. I have to. There's, no better, there's nothing better than that. No matter what I'm going through, I still got victory just like you. It don't matter what you're going through, people. It don't matter if you're using it. It don't matter if you're in jail. You don't ever get out. You got victory. He's your resort. Call him. Don't get in that pen and start writing people and putting it out in the mail, hoping something come back to the... Call on Jesus, man. He got you. He always has you. Ask him to open the eyes and open the ears and open the heart and unbury a lot of that hurt and pain so that you can feel the good things, the things that need to be felt. Some of us, the pain goes so deep, it's a wall that has to be hammered and chiseled, but God can do it in a minute. Just, just let him know what you're feeling right now. He, he loves you guys. You are important. You are special. No matter what anybody says, no matter how people treat you or act, when it all boils down to it, you're never alone. He's always with you, and he loves you more than any of us, and including myself, any of us could possibly ever love you. I mean, <laughs> we just don't know how special you are and how unique and important. Call on him. Love you guys. I, I got to get some rest. I just wanted to see some air and be thankful and say something and touch my heart that God put on my heart. Use God as the resort. <laughs> And just chill out and open your heart to what he's got to say. I never thought I'd ever grow as much as I'm growing this year. And I'm thankful. So I say thank you, Jesus. Continue. And I got, I got so much excitement inside. Thank you, guys. Love you. And thanks for the prayers. Good night.